It is I, Salvaje from the Salvaje Cartel, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to level up your Chapter 2 Season 2 Battle Pass as fast as possible. I'm also going to be telling you guys what are some of the mistakes that you are making that are actually making it so that you're missing out on a little bit of extra XP that's going to help you maximize your XP gain. Because that's what it's all about if you want to level up your Season 2 Chapter 2 Battle Pass as fast as possible, okay? Yo, um, as you guys know, I like to get straight to the point of my video, so I apologize. I forgot to point out that I'm doing a 1000 V-Buck giveaway in two weeks. So like the video, let me know what's your favorite skin from this season's Battle Pass uh, this season. And in two weeks, the person that I see is being the most consistent on my comment section, that's going to be the person that's going to be giving winning the 1000 V-Buck giveaway. And I just want to point out, begging to win the 1000 V-Bucks, that's going to disqualify you. So... Don't do that. Uh, let me know what's your favorite uh, outfit on this season's Battle Pass. And yeah, in two weeks, I'm going to pick the winner for the 1000 V-Bucks. Enjoy the video. Let's start off with something that you should know. Daily assignments. You can only have three daily assignments maximum. So if you log in to Fortnite on, the, on a fourth day of you know receiving your daily assignment, you're not going to receive a fourth daily assignment, right? If you have three daily assignments already. Because like I said, you can only have a maximum of three daily assignments. So make sure that you're always completing your daily assignments so that you never miss out on a daily assignment because you forgot to complete the three previous ones, okay? You get 31,000 XP per daily assignment and you can also replace one daily assignment every single day just in case you don't like it. Another fast way of leveling up your Chapter 2 Season 2 Battle Pass is to collect XP coins. Now, something that you should know is that XP coins are a bit bugged right now, so I don't recommend that you guys collect them. Now, Battle Royale is not like Save the World. If there's a problem in Save the World, it usually takes about 12 years to get fixed. In Battle Royale, problems get fixed in about 12 hours. So, don't worry about XP coins not working. Eventually, they're going to uh, keep working. I also want to point out that something that you should know if you want to level up your Season 2 Chapter 2 Battle Pass is that you shouldn't really be trying to do the local challenges, like landing in Salty Springs 100 times. That's not going to be giving you XP. It's only going to be giving you, uh, you know, something here, like for your uh, career highlight thingies, okay? So I just want to point that out. The third thing that you should know to level up your Battle Pass as fast as possible, make sure that you guys are completing your punch card. This is pretty much self-explanatory and something that we all know from Chapter 2, Season 1. So how do you complete your punch card as fast as possible? You just play the game. That's pretty much it. But, what are some of the mistakes that people are making that are preventing them from completing their punch card as fast as possible and of course also getting a lot of XP throughout the match? The biggest mistake that I see is that people destroy the platform where chests and ammo boxes are at. Ammo boxes and chests, when you search them, you actually get XP from it and that XP actually stacks up and you can get a pretty decent amount of XP if you search ammo boxes and chests. On top of all that, every time that you search a specific amount of chests, you get a scavenger medal and you want to make sure that you're getting as many medals as possible, like survival medals, scavenger medals, uh, AR, AR specialist medals, basically medals that you get, again, from completing the game. If you, I mean, from playing the game. If you complete your punch card, you're going to be getting a total of 96,000 XP. The next thing that you should know, and this is by far the most important tip in this video, is that you need to make sure that you guys are playing solos, duos, or squads. Don't play Team Rumble unless you want to complete your punch card as fast as possible due to the variety of weapons that are there and, you, and due to the variety of specialist medals that you can get in Team Rumble, like for example, a, an SMG specialist medal. Anyways, here's what I mean and why you should be playing the regular modes. Because the regular modes have henchmen and when you guys kill a henchman, you scan them and you loot a henchman chest, you get a total of 285 XP. So if you're playing a regular mode where there are henchmen, you're not just going to be getting XP from destroying players, but you're going to be getting XP also from destroying henchmen, and that means a little bit of more extra XP. Because like I said earlier in the video, leveling up your Season 2 Battle Pass, it's all about maximization. It's all about making sure that you're doing every single thing in your power. And if you want to do every single thing in your power, solos, duos, and squads, they have henchmen. You have to at least kill one henchman, scan them in one of the henchmen chests, and open up a henchman chest because that's going to give you 285 XP. In this match that you guys are seeing in the background, I looted a total of 15 chests and 12 ammo boxes. And I also did the henchman thing and I got a total of 3,375 XP just from doing that. That's almost the equivalent of XP uh, for completing a 
solos match and almost like not doing anything and ending in like top 25 somewhere around there okay so that those things that you guys are doing you know with the ammo boxes and the henchmen is going to be the deciding factor of getting more xp but why is it that we're leveling up so slowly in chapter 2 season 2 well that leads me forward to the fifth thing that you guys should know when it comes down to leveling up quickly make sure that when we have an ltm that you guys are doing all of the LTM challenges for Chapter 2 Season 2. We don't have any LTMs right now, like Search and Destroy, for example, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting some LTMs throughout the season, like the Getaway, for example, or maybe Air Royale, hopefully. Anyways, the point is, LTMs is a really good way to level up your Season 2 Battle Pass, and make sure that you guys are also playing on Overcharge Weekends, which is weekends where they give you, like, double XP. They did it in Chapter 2 Season 1, they're probably going to do it this season as well. Oh, and last but not least, yes, you want to make sure that you are completing your challenge table. If you complete your challenge table and all of your bi-weekly challenges, you should be leveling up very quickly as well. And yes, I did say bi-weekly challenges because if we go over here to agents, we can see that TNT's challenge appears in 11 days, which means that, uh, yeah, the weekly challenges are no longer weekly challenges, they're bi-weekly. So another thing that I want to point out is that um, I know it might seem like Team Rumble is a fast way to level up, but I did my research and for the most part, solos, duos, and squads, as well as Team Rumble, should be giving you the same amount of XP. And I just want to point out, getting the extra SMG medals and, you know, shotgun medals and AR medals in Team Rumble, that only works if you have a punch card. After you complete your punch card, you're not going to be getting the SMG specialist medals or any of that stuff in Team Rumble. Okay, so that's why playing the regular modes is the way to go, because you're also going to be destroying henchmen. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like, use my creator code, and of course, I hope you have uh, the best of luck when it comes down to the 1000 V-Buck giveaway.